Hi. Yeah, this is the most important event today. Uh, we are going to have a cat. I don't know if it's a good or bad news, but <laughs> Uh, we found this at the test stand in the morning and uh, probably some heartless person throw it over the fence last night so uh, But anyway, let's go uh, Back to the serious stuff right now. We are uh, recharging the batteries in the vehicle uh, we didn't uh, fuel the vehicle today because it was a uh, risk of uh, rain and uh, high wind and now the, the weather is uh, pretty good uh, as i said we are recharging the batteries and uh, today we are going to talk a little bit about uh, a request that we received through a comment in one of the previous uh, videos and this request was asking uh, to explain how the first uh, vertical takeoff and landing uh, flight in the dynamic test stand is going to happen. So how the first uh, test for this vehicle is going to happen. Basically, the objective of this first test is to uh, check how the thrust modulation, uh, how the engine is throttling from 0 to 100%. The whole operation for the first uh, test is going to be in full manual control. The flight is going to be uh, operated by uh, one of my colleagues, by Florin, who is uh, an active Airbus 320 uh, pilot. So basically from the flight and command and control center, he's going to command the engine and he's going to start obviously from zero and uh, push the lever to 10%. So we are going to achieve in this uh, test only 10% from the maximum thrust of this uh, engine. The engine, the, the whole vehicle is going to um, lift in the dynamic test stand and we are going to keep this for around uh, 3 seconds. Then Florin is going to reduce the throttle slowly and he is going to attempt to keep the vehicle at a leveled uh, flight for another 4-5 uh, seconds and then he is going to reduce the throttle progressively until uh, zero. For the following test we are going to uh, check how the vehicle is responding to commands for uh, yaw, pitch and uh, roll and finally for the final test, for the fourth test we are going to check how the vehicle is actually going to take off from the concrete pad of the dynamic test stand and uh, go up in the dynamic test stand and then land on its landing gear. We are going to have uh, landing gear prepared uh, for the fourth uh, flight for this vehicle. Uh, as you are seeing at the bottom of the engine there are 12 cords as a safety precaution um, and these cords are going to prevent the vehicle from flying through the dynamic test stand in case that uh, something uh, will go wrong and we will not be able to properly control the throttle for the engine. Of course we don't expect uh, this kind of uh, events but in any case we need to take all the necessary precautions. So yeah, uh, this is a short description on how the first uh, vertical takeoff and landing uh, flight in the dynamic test stand is going to happen and um, we are going to fuel the vehicle most probably tomorrow. Keep you updated guys, we are almost there. And uh,